So, ooh, we've got a 250. Mmm, we got another pot. Oh, it makes your mouth water. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I am fresh faced because I have a cold so The curtains are drawn because it is blinding gorgeous sun outside. So bare face, but very much ready for this box. This box is for June and I'm so excited because I've heard through the grapevine that this is a really good box and I am so so looking forward to opening this up. I kind of oh I kind of match. Even though it's sunny outside I, I kind of feel cold. Um so let's open this up. Ooh. Oh my god that's so cute. Right I'm just gonna put the little little sheet thing down here but ah, look at that look at the little box oh Look at that, it says, we squeeze the whole fruit in. And it's got these two little cool dude um, just chilling out, I love that. I think I might try and frame that. I've been saying for a while that I wanna frame the little cards that come in here. They're so beautiful, uh, the illustrations, and I think it definitely wants to be done. So I think I might try and get some little frames and stuff so I can so I can do that. But I absolutely love the look of this box so far. Can I smell anything? I can smell like a slight fruity smell, but nothing super strong. Okay, so we have the card here, which I'll read at the end, and I promise I'll read it because uh, it's been brought to my attention that I, f I keep forgetting at the end, but I promise I'm going to read it. It's just, I don't like reading it straight away because it actually gives spoilers. Um, so let's just dive straight in. For those who don't know, the kitchen box is £35 a month plus shipping and you get to vote for what goes in here. So, ooh, mm, this is raspberry and lime body lotion. So the first thing is this pot here and it says, smell fab, fresh and fruity with this ultra hydrating almond and raspberry seed oil lotion. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I thought it'd be pink. Oh, that's very mild. That is so mild, but so nostalgic. That reminds me of something from when I was little. That smell, I'm just gonna whack a whole load of my arm because I've got dry skin. Oh, that's, that is so, that is very subtle. If you are a fan of like body lotions that aren't super strong in scent, you're gonna love this. You can smell the raspberry it's sweet, but like, again, like not super strong. And you can definitely smell a bit of lime in there. That's lovely, that is super nostalgic. So you've got fresh lime infusion, water, almond oil, cold pressed, raspberry seed oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, glycerin. Uh, you've got fresh raspberries, bergamot oil, Persian lime oil, myrrh, resin oil. The, maybe, maybe I can smell a bit of that myrrh. It does have a bit of an incense quality to it. It's lovely I, and it's soaked in really well. So it says, uh, fresh lime infusion tones the skin and boosts your mood. So we've got that there. What we got next? We got another pot. Oh my God. Oh, lush lime. So we have had this one before. So this is like one of the first or second repeats we've had in the three years of this box but i know a lot of you guys over in na might not have actually had this yet so this is quite nice this is a lovely uh, product this is a lush lime shower smoothie and again very subtle but you can smell the lime in here this one's very wobbly i don't remember it being that wobbly when i got it but maybe it's just been shook up a little bit but it says uh, adopt a life of lime and get the zest kind of clean with fresh strawberries and zingy lime juice. These two, oh my God, these two are gonna go so well together. I love the feeling of shower smoothies and I would love like a shower smoothie to be in stores for people to use or like a whipped kind of body wash. Um, something that you can kind of scoop out and really kind of hear the crackle maybe of like the air bubbles popping. You don't get that with the with the shower smoothies. They are more kind of creamy. Like if you if you if you're new to kind of lush 
um, but you're not like super super new and you've had oaty creamy dreamy it's kind of got the similar sort of a, a feel to that but it says fresh butternut squash infusion you've got glycerin organic extra virgin olive oil, almond oil, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, fresh lime juice, fresh strawberries, water, grapefruit oil, orange flower absolute, sodium chloride. This is lovely because all those oils in there are so moisturizing and I think with us getting into the warmer weather, you're kind of sneakily getting moisture into the skin without feeling too weighed down. Um, it says, after fresh butternut squash infusion leaves you squeaky clean, silky almond oil hydrates. Talk about a dream team. So, so far, two pots. Amazing. I can see something pink. Oh, this is the floating island, I think. Oh, that's lovely. That's very rosy. Sorry, I'm too busy straight in there enjoying the smell. I'm going to apologise in advance for the state of my nails. But that smells lovely. It's almost like like a rosy, creamy candy smell. I've not smelt this one before. Unless it's a, been a product. It definitely smells like a rosy, creamy candy. Did I vote for this one? I think I did. But this is quite a quite a size if you use my face. Actually, look, you, look, the, it's almost the size of a 100 gram pot. So that's lovely. I think that's a bath melt and balm in one, but we'll, we'll have a double check. No shower gel so far. Oh, I speak too soon. We've got a 250. I know a lot of people are gonna be really happy about that. We've had a lot of 100 gram bottles and I understand that sometimes when we get the 100 gram bottles, it's because we might've had a fragrance with it or we've had two body washes with it. But it is so nice when we get a 250 gram bottle. This is yummy, yummy, yummy. Lather yourself in summer sun with fresh strawberry infusion and passion seed oil. Pick your own and keep the whole punnet to yourself. I love that. I don't know. <clears throat> If you guys around the world have this, but in the UK, like around kind of the 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 season for the right season, I think it'll probably be the summertime. We are obsessed as a nation of strawberry picking, and um, you know you might sneak the odd one whilst you're doing it. I don't, but not the not too many. But you can pick your own strawberries, and I have to say that British strawberries are the best strawberries, especially Scottish strawberries. They just are so sweet, so full of flavour. And if you didn't know, strawberries, um, you can tell whether one's been pollinated by a bee or not. If a strawberry looks as perfect as like what you get from a supermarket, that has been pollinated by a bee, or if they kind of look a little bit misshapen, that is because it's self-pollinated, so the pollen has fallen from uh, the, uh, the male plant into the female plant, so it's a little bit more, kind of more wonky. So if you get any like perfect ones on your own strawberry plant at home, you know that's been pollinated by a bee. So I just thought I'd tell you that cool one. Anyway, I've not had yummy, yummy, yummy before, so I'm quite excited to smell this. I'm loving the theme of the lime coming through in all these kind of really fruity, brightening citrus notes. Ooh, this looks thick. This looks, wow, that's, I don't know. Oh, it's yummy, yummy. It's yummy, mummy scented. Mmm, or oh, roller bath bomb. So was this before yummy, mummy? So it smells a lot like strawberry milkshake, uh, strawberry feels forever massage bar, roller body spray, roller bath bomb. Um, what else? What else is um, the Love Locket, I think, from a Valentine's Day or two ago, but that smells beautiful and it is so thick. It's like, it's like moussey. It looks like tubby custard. Uh, so you've got fresh strawberry infusion, agave syrup water, you have fine sea salt, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, uh, geranium oil, organic bas balsamic vin vinegar. Ooh. Oh, because, you know, like strawberries and balsamic vinegar are supposed to be like, really good. I've never had that before, but my friend Karen has made a strawberry and black pepper cake, and it is stunning. So if you've never put black pepper in with strawberries, oh, do it. It's so nice. Um, you've got almond oil, organic cold pressed passion seed oil, and water. The passion seed oil... I feel like we've seen this before in some other products, maybe seasonal ones. I have this in the back of my mind that it's full of vitamin E. Um, I'm going to put, I'll find something out about it and then I can put there to clarify it. But I know it's it's quite a beautiful ingredient. What has it been in recently? Passion seed oil. I can't remember. Okay, what else have we got? Ooh, now I know I voted for this. I am not a sh really a shower jelly person because 
well look I have millions of them and I, I never get around to using them all but I can't say no to Happy Blooming. Happy Blooming is just like the best smell ever. It's just divine and we got like a Happy Blooming um, body lotion I think in the first year of the box and it was amazing and I'm just like oh my god please bring it out. So ugh, it's like uh, cherry drops, sweets if you've been in the UK, it's like cherry bake well, it's just delicious and it's this beautiful gorgeous shade of red, it's Oh, it makes your mouth water. It smells so good. So good. And I know that my friend Daniel will probably really enjoy this because he loves kind of like that cherry, almondy sort of a smell. Um, so you've got deep red toning cherry infusion. It's the highlight of this jolly jiggler. A splash of reviving coconut water and coconut cream tie in nicely for a creamy, fruity lather. I mean, they are not wrong when they, like, they're saying like that it's a kind of a creamy kind of smell. It's lovely. Um, you've got glycerin, cherry infusion, organic coconut water, carrageenan extract, cream coconut, almond essential oil, benzoin resinoid, uh, ylang ylang oil and water. So if you see benzoin resinoid and things, it, that's the kind of almondy cakey smell so you find it I think in things like snow cake and things like that if you see things like carob resinoid you're gonna see that more in things like sticky dates and again that's a different kind of syrupy cakey kind of a smell but it's lovely it says tart and tangy cherry infusion has astringent properties on the skin it leaves you feeling toned and refreshed all over do we have anything else no we don't wow wow wee wow that is such a good box we have got four shower things because I know a lot of people don't have baths so this is quite nice that most of the box is like shower and body and you've got one bath thing which is lovely it smells really good I can't wait to find, oh, we'll find out what that is and um, it's unusual to see this many kind of potted stuff but I'm here for it sorry I've got this <laughs> bar of bright light here Um, I'm so excited this smells like summer it smells so summery good. I'm actually now getting really hot in this jumper. Um, so we've got the, oh, I've, ah, the big strawberry bath melt. Mmm, so it's not floating island. Why have I got that? Is that July's fault? I think that might be July's thought. Uh, so you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, fresh strawberries, alkanated extract, it in almond oil, geranium oil, jasmine absolute, vanilla, uh, and water. It's very, it, it smells like creamy candy, but like rose jammy. What is this scent? It, it smells lovely. I don't know if this is a new product, but it smells really, really good. So let's read the card. I love this card so much. And it's not picking up the color as well as I'd like, but it says, squeeze the day. Bathe and shower in fruit-filled goodness. Fresh ingredients are at the heart of our philosophy. It's not only important to us, it defines us. Seize the day with freshly squeezed fruit juices, extracts and essential oils. It's true, we really do put the whole fruit in. Did you know our products are bursting with fresh, and we mean fresh, fruits, veggies, flowers and herbs to feed your skin. Lush compounders peel, pump, squeeze, juice and blend tons of ingredients by hand, producing our fresh handmade cosmetics. This month's products are packed full of fresh cherries, strawberries, raspberries and even butternut squash to nourish your skin from head to toe. You can scan this QR code, I'm going to pop it here for you guys if you want to pause it. Scan that QR code and you will probably be able to see some kind of like behind the scenes type of a situation. Now, let's see what is up for vote. Up for vote, we had Bon Bon Bath Bomb, uh, which I thought looked pretty cool. So it says, the citrusy sorbet scent of lime and sweet orange oils boosts your mood while fresh mango and avocado butters melt into the water for a skin softening. So I would have loved that. Uh, Himalayan rock salt body scrub. It's only small, uh, probably about the kind of the diameter of the top of this one. I've had this before because you can get it uh, if they haven't discontinued it from that shop, but you can get it from the anchor stores in the UK and it's beautiful. It smells like lovely strawberries. You've got that pink Himalayan salt. It's just lovely. Uh, 
Um, you have got Yummy Yummy Shower Gel, which obviously I voted for. I'll always vote for a shower gel. I don't think I've ever not voted for a shower gel. Um, you have uh, the a Panda Panda Soap. I will say there's been a lot of soap recently, which, you know, I don't have a problem. I like soap, but give us a chance to use it. Like, soap lasts me more than a month. Then we had the Lush Lime Shower Smoothie. I can't remember if I voted for that because I was like, well, we've already had it. So I don't know if I did. Let's see if I took a screenshot of everything. I didn't put a, a screenshot out, but that is everything. I think this is a corking box. Um, to the people who have said this is one of the best box we've had, I think you're right. I probably would have preferred maybe a bath bomb as well. You know, greedy me. Um, or even like a little, do you know what it is, right? Uh, where have I put the card? I would have loved a little patch like this or a pin with these two little dudes on. They're so cool. Um, but I think it's a superb box. Lots of value for money here. Um, we've got body lotion, a couple of, uh, three body washes and, you know, a bath product as well. All, I love the linking of the ingredients um it just smells so good and uh, so please let me know what you think of this down below do you regret not getting this box or what is your favorite thing from this box i would love to know i think i think my favorite thing is the happy blooming and i know it's a shower jelly but oh my god it just it just smells so good like it smells like cherry drops that's that body lotion has got even more kind of powdery and incense -y. It's beautiful. And it maybe would be quite nice to have a, like a different body lotion in the store. I don't know. Um, but yes, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. When we get to 4,000, I'll do a lovely giveaway for you all. You can follow me on social media here. Um, I am running for the Great North Run. I tried my first six miles a day. Um, it went okay. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm chuffed that I attempted it. Was it very good? But yes, um, and YouTube will recommend some videos at the end, but I hope you're all doing really, really well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.